morning guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. It's dreary today, so I'm not sure what we're going to get. And I need to very quickly do some personal invitations so that people can be present today. So, as you pop on here, and if you're watching the replay, I would greatly love it if you share with me how you're doing and what you are up to in your neck of the woods. Good morning, Jill and Tammy and Chad. Hopefully you had safe travels and, and good travels last night, Chad. And hope you guys are all doing well. How are you feeling today, Jill? I am quickly sharing this with two people so that they are able to get on here and join me. So just give me two seconds here as I do that. And send that one. One more. It is raining here. We are in our rainy season right now, and we have had steady, heavy downpours all week long, and it is in our forecast for, I believe, the next two weeks. So it is quite crazy. Yes, rain and snow here, dreary. And Jill says, mm, today is a better day. Thank you for asking. Well, sweet friend, you are going to be really excited after I share some of what I'm going to share today. You are one person that comes to mind greatly when, um, when I will be sharing this. Um, well, it is rainy. It's dreary. It's damp. But I'm envisioning and visualizing spring. I've got my nice little white jacket on and some purple colors. And I am ready to embrace spring and hit the mountains. So I'm putting myself in a very different place. Not to mention, you ought to see why. I showed you this last week. It's getting better. It's now organized. And I've got boxes ready to be shipped and stuff is actually sorted through. So there's hope for me yet. But it's like all around me. So it's quite something and the house looks the same way. The scaffolding is uh, a permanent structure in my living room and kitchen and dining room. And uh, we are making huge, huge progress, which is so extremely exciting. Um, it's whoever takes this over will have such an awesome, cozy, just so such a welcoming home. I am just so very excited. I am anxious to show you guys. I don't know if I will do that today or not. I'm trying to keep these shorter because we've been getting really long and I know that there are some people that would like to watch and can't because they're too long. That is what my dining room looks like. <laughs> I am learning to find peace in my mess. I have to because it's very hard to work in this. I've always expressed to you guys to declutter because it's it's so refreshing. It removes the weight off your shoulders. It removes a lot of stress that you don't realize is there. And here I sit in this massive bomb. I mean, oh my goodness. It is just a bomb in every room. But um, I'm holding out. I'm being calm about it. I'm excited because there is so much progress going on. And we have, we're looking at probably about another week and a half two weeks till we have things wrapped up the way we would like to um, to get this listed so um, and in the process a lot of really awesome things have been happening um, Monday was a fabulous very productive day uh, we are just embracing life in a different way and um, I have some really awesome stuff to share Saturday I started a three-day workshop and program and um, I've been talking to you about the things I've been implementing in my life, the MELT method, um, the Wired for Healing. And I was blessed um, with the gift that we received that I was able to purchase this three-day seminar, which I felt God was blessing me with and leading me to. And that was the truth and it was the answer. Um, this three day program was pretty intense, um, and also, uh, very miraculous. I am sitting here and I don't have to worry about what position I'm in. I don't have to worry about my muscles. Um, I have to be careful how I speak right now. So, um, because I am now on a six month journey over the last three days, I have healed my body. I have no symptoms of my illness at all. 
which is absolutely amazing. I have my strength. I um, don't have pain for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Are you going to add your two cents? I said you're amazing. Oh, I see. The mountain man is joining the voice from the curtain. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing what... Uh, Hang on. There we go. Okay. It's pretty amazing what she's doing. Um, it's <laughs> there. There's huge differences in how she everything can act, how she acts, how she moves, how um, just her body. Um, just being able to lift stuff do stuff it's pr it's pretty pretty amazing makes you th makes you think a little bit but uh yeah it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so yeah <laughs> that's all i've got to say about that <laughs> well thank you for sharing <laughs> It is, guys. It's it's really, really crazy. I am realizing it's just kind of weird because now it's almost natural to be the other way around. Good morning, Jackie and Terry and Charles. It's it's really quite amazing. Like, um, it's like now I have to think back to what it was like because all of a sudden all this stuff has changed overnight. I mean, overnight. I woke up the next morning, Saturday, uh, Sunday morning, and I had no pain. No pain. I actually, like, jumped out of bed, and when I jumped out of bed, I stopped because I haven't been able to do that in... I was, I was, from my surgery, I have been struggling for three years to gain, regain my health. But I was sick... And, and having struggles really badly for five years prior to that that were progressively getting worse. And now I am realizing that this that there were things this morning I was able to stretch and move in a way that I haven't been able to do since 2004. Because what would happen is when I went in that particular position, like uh, it happened when I was tying my um, hunting boots, that when I was... I'm real flexible. So I was bending and I was straight down and all of a sudden my abs would just go into a softball size knot. So I've learned to adjust how I put my boots and my socks on. And this morning, I didn't even think about it. I just went in that position and there I stood and just started laughing because I haven't done that in so long. And what I am doing is I am retraining the limbic system of my brain. What happened is because of all the toxins in my body from the breast implants and the mold, my um, body has been in a fight and flight trauma loop since. So everything that, all the stimuli that was causing problems in my body were getting intensified over time. And that's why when Two weeks ago, I was in that in the um, toxins and smelling those toxins that it just was so drastic that I was in bed having to prop up my neck because it wouldn't hold my head up. This is just incredibly intense. And to be able to gain my life back in three days <laughs> is just unstinking real. And you can, you better believe I am going to be shouting this from the mountaintops. Because this applies to anybody that has chronic illness, chronic pain. Chemi I had multiple chemical sensitivities. I had so many things going on. Um, Lyme disease. Anything that triggers struggles in the body. Pots. Um, um, there's so many different things. My, bl my, my brain is just spinning right now. PTSD, anxiety, depression, these are all a result of the body going into a trauma loop. And three in a day, I already saw huge differences. I walked into the bathroom where there was paint opened, 
and it didn't give me an instant migraine and it didn't make my face just instantly go red. I I can be around those smells now and have different associations with them because my body is not stuck in a fight and flight loop and I don't feel like I need to live in a bubble. This is this is life altering not only for me but to know what I can do to help other people. So I am just beyond ecstatic. I am ecstatic because I can now help my guy and he's not the one doing all the heavy stuff because I can't lift anything. I have gained so much of my strength back in three days. It's absolutely unbelievable. So I know that when I hit 50 next year, I am going to be in the best shape I have ever been in. And that's because that's where I'm going to take myself. This is just fabulous and just amazing. And I, huh, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. Like every day I am seeing myself do these things. Like I couldn't even pick up a cast iron skillet for a while. When when those um, symptoms set in a couple weeks ago, I, I struggled then again to pick up cast iron skillets. It would zap my strength. And um, I was, when we were building here, I was hoisting um, 2 by 8 by 12s up onto our loft area, our, our home area. While we were building, I was just chucking them. I couldn't even pick up a cast iron skillet. So this is life altering. And for people like Jill and other people out there um, that are struggling from PTSD, depression, anxiety, it can be healed. It can be healed. Now what I need to do is for the next six months, I need to take an hour a day and um, repetitively keep this brain portion open and keep rebuilding on it so that I can um, basically dissolve the other brain path that was stuck in a loop. Now I have to be careful what I'm talking about. I know this is going to sound really funny, um, but we are warned not to talk about symptoms. So I'm going to stop at this point because I can feel the top of my head um, changing. I know that sounds weird, but I've had a lot of pressure in my head from this illness over the last three years, and I feel that setting in right now, so I'm going to stop talking about it. But you're going to hear more from me. I want to share something with you um, that... Whoop, hang on. I want to share this with you, see if I can add the comment in here. There we go. Um... So this is just amazing, amazing stuff, and I'm going to continue sharing about it, but I've got to find a way to do it that I don't reverse what I've got going on here. Um, oh, I can't share it. So when I am finished here, I will share several things with you guys. Oh, I see. There we go. All right, maybe now can I share? Aha, uh -huh, I can. Okay, but it won't let me send a picture. Okay, I'll do it when I'm done. So, is that not... Whoop. Oh, great. Now I just turned this... There we go. All right. I'm a mess. I'm a mess, but I'm in a good mess. All right, so Jill says, it is due to decluttering, taking everything apart, sorting, and keeping just a few things. That is a very liberating feeling. You know, that's exactly why my office looks like it does, because I am sorting this again. And um, the boxes that you saw were boxes that I am gifting other people. And I am to the point now where pretty much everything that I am resorting through, I'm just gifting. Um, just because I, it needs to be gone. I want to live a simpler life. Um... Yeah, isn't it incredible, Tammy? I am just so excited. God is just so good and is doing so much in our lives. And I am just so, so excited to be able to share this. Like I said, i got to find a way to be able to do this um, that it doesn't affect me. God still does heal and performs miracles. Thank you, Lord. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what really excites me, when I share the images later, you'll understand. Um, I'm going to share the devotional. The other image that I'm going to share is what came to me yesterday and um, is probably going to be the life journey I'm going to be on and that is going to be, I mean, I feel like I'm helping people now, but this has just accelerated what I have available to me to help others. My arsenal is just growing so crazy that that feeling in my head is now going away. That is really weird, but that is what I am changing is the, the limbic system and rewiring it and it can be done. It takes devotion. Those three days were very intense. Um, 
and I, I recommend that if you do this, um, I will be sharing more on this. I will probably be doing a webinar on this. I might record all the nitty gritty and all the details and everything that I shouldn't be talking about one day and then not talk about it anymore and just replay that over and over again so that I don't harm myself. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, but after six months and after I'm fully healed, I can talk about it. It's just getting that loop in place that is permanent and, and redirecting it. But it's just revolutionary to know. I mean, also, it's really awesome because God's been leading me up and I've been sharing all this stuff, the new beginnings. Everything that I've been sharing, every little piece and detail was part of my weekend. Except it all came together like this. So I have been on the right path. And it's so awesome to see that I have been on this path and that God has been incrementally adding these things to my arsenal. And now I have like the full weaponry in place because I know how to put it together. So uh, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And to see just, you, you know, you take so much for granted. I, 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 I can't talk anymore about that stuff, but I will share later. Um, amen, Emmanuel, God with us. Yes, exactly. And um, <laughs> yes, and welcome back, Chad. Um, so there's, you know, God has designed our bodies in such an amazing, amazing way. And, you know, our scientists are still learning about the bodies and, and what they are capable of. And, you know... It's just, it's just amazing to see what our bodies are capable of, to know how God designed us, to know that God had such an incredible and amazing plan, um, and, and how all this just goes together, and how we have the abilities ourselves to go past a lot of modern medicine. You know, I don't need to see a doctor I don't need to go back for repeat visits. I now have the control within myself based on my devotion to this. And you can be darn sure I'm going to be very devoted. I actually did two training reps or se sessions excuse me, before I did this because I knew that talking about this would cause me some struggles. <clears throat> so it's just amazing to know that our bodies are able to self heal and that we have the abilities within our minds and our spirits and uh, our God given gifts to be able to do this. I am looking at Mimi's right now. Mimi says, I need prayers. All my guts are infected and inflamed. I'm going to the doctor this afternoon for another exam. I just had one two weeks ago. Whatever this is, it just doesn't want to go away and stay gone. Please pray for me that it does go away and stays away. Absolutely, girlfriend. Um, we will keep you in prayers, add you to the prayer list, and um, I see that Tammy is also saying that she will pray for you. Absolutely. Um, God answers prayers. That's another thing. Down below in our description is a very large list of um, prayer requests that we have, and um, I'd like to ask that all you prayer warriors out there, Please uh, lift them all in prayer. Um, we have had such fabulous results um, with our prayers. Charles had his teeth extracted this week and did absolutely fantastic. Actually, that was last week already, wasn't it, Charles? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> but he is doing fantastic. And um, yes, it was last Monday. So he uh, didn't have excess, a whole lot of pain and did real well, and he is healing. Um, Mona and Ken are seeing results in their healing. They are starting to um, be relieved of a lot of the pains they were experiencing and re-strengthening, so that is good. Um, my friend Adrian's um, two children are in need of prayer. One was in the PICU. She's now in the ICU um, with breathing issues. She was in there. She's very small. I, um, I want to say she's six or eight months old. Um, she's precious, and they could use prayer. I know that's very overwhelming. They also have another child that's being uh, diagnosed with an autoimmune um, illness. So, you know, there's so many people out there that are in need of prayer, and 
that's where we're going to lead into today too, is learning how to be resilient in life when we are thrown so many different things and so, so many scary things. So, um, Mimi, I know where you're at. I, I understand your position and you can count on our constant prayers. God will answer and, um, his, there is so much healing with the Lord. It's just amazing. And you know, sometimes things take time. Um, I will never wish that I didn't go through this experience for many, many reasons. Um, God has been incrementally providing me with answers. Not only that, I have saved the mountain man and I did a video on, on things back in 2016 and that saved so many lives so far. We've saved well over 30 lives that we know of. And, um, I know God had purpose in everything and everything we walk through builds us to who we need to become. Um, we come, we become warriors. We become warriors for him. We become stronger in having an, a greater inner strength to help pull us through what's ahead at times. And, um, you know, a lot of people say that God doesn't give you more than you can handle. And, I don't want to discourage you and say that that's not true, but that's not biblical. But what is biblical is that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He is always beside us. And he is always there helping us on this journey. And, you know, at times you might feel abandoned, that he's not present, but he is always there. And sometimes the abandonment and the lack of the feeling of presence of God is because he's carrying us and he's doing a lot more work than you think can imagine. Um, so don't ever, ever feel that he is not present because he is always there. He is always working miracles in the background, things that we will never know or see. He is working in the forefront. He is providing people in our lives to make a difference in our lives, to replace things that may have been lost uh, or removed. Um, you know, he strips us for a reason, and I, I truly believe that he stripped me of everything. Um, not that I was never grateful for it all, because I'm, I don't have the mentality to question why. I don't have the mentality to blame. Um, I just roll with it, and I'm, I'm grateful for the circumstances, and I keep my eyes open to see what he's teaching me. Um... But I didn't know I wasn't always like that. Uh, so it's a place of growth. So as we go through these things, this is what can happen. This is where you come to. And it is such a wholesome and amazing place. So when you guys come to me in your situations, I hope and pray that you never feel discredited by what I share um, or that you are lesser of a person or that you are in a lesser of a a place. I want you to strongly want what I have. I want you to feel me sharing my knowledge of pulling, you know, uh, encouraging you to pull into God, encouraging you to read the word, encouraging you to step up your walk because through that for myself, I've come to this place. And this place that I am in is just so amazing. And it is contagious because the mountain man wanted it too. We both wanted a place of peace. We both wanted a place of joy and happiness through this extreme blusterous tornado we've got going on through our home. <laughs> and, you know, we found that place. We found that place. And together it's really awesome um, when you have somebody that you can do it together with, whether that... Um, Accountability partner is a friend, is a sister, is a brother, is a wife, is a child. You know, my mountain boy has often been my partner in crime. He is a great partner in crime. Um, he and I think a lot alike and personalities and mannerisms and makeup are very much the same. Um, so having those partners in crime when you're either increasing your walk with God, embracing a new health issue, wanting more happiness and joy in your life, having an accountability partner is really important. And I feel that this is something that 
I hope you feel I'm offering to you when you come and join me on Wednesdays because I want you to feel like I am your accountability partner because we are going to succeed. We are going to win. Whatever our struggles are, whatever we are individually walking out, we are going to do this together. And I hope that you guys are feeling this. I hope, give me some hearts because that is what this is all about. And we also have the community that we've started. Many of you are starting to come over there and join. And I am so excited because at this point, that is going to start taking off in a tremendous way. I've got so much to share and so much that you are going to see through these revelations. And um, I'm thankful that you guys have joined me. So if you haven't joined me over there, join us at treyerwilderness.com slash community. And trust me, it will be a very wholesome place. If you think this is wholesome and you are gaining from it, the wholesomeness of our community is that it's a daily thing, that we can come there daily, not just on Wednesdays. Thank you for the hearts. I am glad to know that you guys are feeling this as a, a place where you can come, you can commune, that you have an accountability partner, no matter what it is we're talking about, no matter what it is we are working through, no matter what it is that we are overcoming, we are doing this together. And what I am sharing with you, I feel is God given every week. And um, I think it's things that we can, uh, that we can, grow together in, that these are things that are going to make our lives more wholesome, um, where we will find more happiness, and it is where um, I am inspiring positive change. That's the goal. That is the goal, is to inspire positive change, regardless what area of your life it's in. And really, guys, I believe that everything I've been teaching and sharing this year is stuff that all trickles down. And all kind of plays a role. It all morphs together. And it might be related to health, but it falls into life. And, man, you know, no matter what whirlwind you have going on, you know, we have the ability to be greater than we feel or think. It's a truth. It's an absolute truth. That is the beauty of the body and the way we were designed. We were God-designed. To be able to be greater than what we feel and what we think. And that's by visualization. That is by will. That is by desire. And um, by constant repetition of making these things happen. What have I been talking about all year? About making new habits. I'm going to share something with you. This was really awesome to me. It made me just absolutely laugh. Part of my training this weekend was doing, well, there's two things that you will find extremely humorous. All right, in the training, the, the um, two, thing, two of the things you want to do is create constant change in your life. Um, do new things. You know, start painting, start drawing, start writing with your left hand. I've always had the desire to be able to write with my left hand. I had to at one point because I broke my right arm in third grade and I did have to do it, but then I stepped away from doing it. And um, when she shared in the training this weekend to start something new, I've already started how many new things this year. So I just instantly went to, well, she also said about eating your meal with the non-dominant hand and, and doing things different, like when you put on your jeans. I never even thought about that. When I put my jeans on, I always put my right leg in first. Have you ever thought about that? It's just all automatic, that, and that's what I'm reprogramming. It's all that subconscious automatic that my body was doing behind my back. I'm retraining that. So I'm putting my left leg in my pants first, and I'm eating with my left hand, which is really difficult because my left hand in and of itself is retarded, plain and simple. It has no control and, and, and uh, no manners whatsoever. So anyway, I'm now writing with my left hand in my journal, which it's interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's called being mindful, Jill, and that's exactly it. Okay, the other thing is she said to move things around in your home constantly to give it a feeling of newness. I, we just busted. I mean, my house, I've got crap stuff 
everywhere my kitchens in my dining room or in my living room or in the mountain boys bedroom I mean we got stuff everywhere so I'm already ahead of the game so it was just really funny um, but what I've been teaching all year long is what I was sh was shared with me over these last three days but showed me how to put it all into place in a better more uh, uh, way to perform more growth which I will be sharing with you but it's just fun and um, now not only I know I brought it over here not only is my journal my my daily log but I'm now recording all the changes that I'm experiencing in my life and I'm writing in my journal ten times a day what I aspire to be and I'm writing with my left hand so it just gives me great joy to be doing these daily steps and to know what has just transpired and what I am putting in place long term it is just awesome it is absolutely awesome yeah you have to try it it's just fun it's you know and it's and that's a thing in order to be mindful and to make positive changes in the brain the more you are in a joyful and happy state, the more the body opens up to this stuff. The more you laugh, the more you laugh that you cry, the more silly and fun you are in your day to day, which is how we should be living anyway, is what encourages the brain to produce the hormones that we need to thrive. We need to get ourselves out of that fight and flight that we are constantly in because our environment or our society or our constant surroundings are pulling us into that place. We have the ability to pull ourselves out of that place. We also have the ability to change where we are. So just always remember that we have the ability to change anything. Anything. And that's what I've been encouraging this year. And I hope you guys are gaining from what I'm sharing. And like I said, I'm going to try to keep this um, not as long today because I want people to be able to listen in. Um, the one a couple weeks ago was two hours long. That was insane. But we were talking together and we were sharing a lot of stuff. And it was really powerful. So I don't regret it at all. But I am going to pull us back in here. I want to share this with you because I thought this was extremely powerful. This is ways to develop resilience. This was Proverbs 24, 16. Though a righteous man falls, he rises again. These are such wise, wise words. And I am going to share the image later. Be sure to save it on your phone or print it out. Because this is one of those things that would be really good to carry in your Bible. To be able to um, review on a regular basis. Um, and, and fall back on. So here we go. Like any skill, mental, emotional, and spiritual resilience can be learned. Here's how. One, redefine setbacks as the gateway to something greater. Two, remember successful people don't just face adversity, they embrace it. Three, tune out the critics and focus on doing your best. Four, Wake up every day remembering that prayer and gratitude create a fertile environment for faith. Very much. I am shaking my head to all of these and I hope that you have seen me being an example of these. And I am not tooting my horn. I am saying that because I am following God's will with my whole heart in everything I do. Because I want to be a light. And that is important. And I feel that we have the ability to change not only our lives, but the lives of others by walking the walk and not just talking the talk. So that's what I mean by that. Four, uh, five, increase your faith talk when you're afraid. Amen. Six, learn from failure and remember many times you've, the many times you've succeeded. Seven, visualize victory before going into battle. Eight, Refuse to dwell on the past or worry about the future. Today is where you have the most influence. 
Nine, identify a solution instead of complaining. Exactly. And it's okay to state facts. Facts are facts. And that is important because sometimes we need to express ourselves. But just be careful not falling into the complaining. Ten, replace self-doubt with faith talk. Eleven, when things look hopeless, remember with God all things are possible. That is huge. That's Mark 10, 27, as well as uh, Matthew 19, 26. Twelve, when you feel alone, think of all those who have helped you and who love and support you. Thirteen, pray for guidance when you're in over your head. Fourteen, rest when you're tired, but don't give up. Finish strong in everything you do. We shared that last week. We were tired, but we kept on keeping on. And here we are, and look what we're celebrating. I lost my place. <laughs> okay, 15. Remember, you can do all things through Christ when you think you can, when you think you can't. And that's Philippians 4.13. 16. Recognize what you can't control. Focus on what you can and surrender the rest to God. 17. Exercise physically to give yourself a sense of control and to fight depression. 18. Laugh to reduce stress. Strengthen your immune system and improve arterial blood flow. 19. Be grateful. Research shows that people who sent a letter or email of thanks to somebody who helped them stayed in a better mood for up to a month. You've heard me share a lot of these independently. You've, share, you've heard me talk about these things. There they are, all in one place. And I want to share something really awesome. I don't think Kelly's on here today. I know her life is pretty crazy. I got this in the mail from Kelly. And what's really funny, I got this yesterday. And she mentioned that she and her family have been praying for my complete healing. And she, that's what this was about. And here I am. Symptom free. God is good. God is so good. You guys are going to see me in all kinds of places now. Uh, top of the mountains, I'm telling you. Top of the mountain, I get a signal. I might be able to go live. <laughs> and Miss Tammy sent me a beautiful letter. And, you know, they both came yesterday. They were both very timely. And they both gave me great joy. And it is amazing how God puts amazing people in our path and puts in our path just what we need to be resilient, to regrow, to rebuild, to be renewed. So I've been talking about new beginnings all year long. Now we're going to start talking and you will chuckle when you see the image I share. These are new beginnings and these are new normals. These are new normals. This is my new normal. You better believe I am celebrating my new normal. And my new normal is going to change every day because I am going to make an extreme effort. And I'm going to be very dedicated and devoted to my training, to my new normal, to my new life, to life itself. And you know that my new beginnings, my new normal, and my life start with God. And um, if you do not have God in your life and you are watching this, I want to read something to you and I want to show you how easy it is for you to get to know Jesus. You're going to need to bear with me though. I need to go to the right place to share that with you. I thought I was, but I am not. So bear with me here because this is important stuff too. Okay, here we go. Wanting to know Jesus is something that makes a lot of people curious and fearful, but it's something that's really simple. In the Bible, it states very clearly in Romans 10, 9 through 11, and also 13. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. As the scripture tells us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. 
for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. All you need to do is ask God to forgive your sins and accept him into your heart. It's that simple. And trust me, I could not and I will not live my life without him. I couldn't imagine my life without him. Um, it is amazing when you have God in your life. You won't, that does not mean that you will have, you know, a life full of roses and chocolates and cherries. Um, you're going to have hardships. You're going to have struggles, but you have the best person in your court to help you through those struggles and you will see his presence through the storm. You know, I've shared so many blessings and so many miracles with you on how God is just tremendously working in our lives and how he is giving us everything we need and how we have had a roof over our head and have progressed through this struggle. And it is just amazing. And it's amazing having those wholesome people in your life as you go through this journey and as you go through your struggles. You know, it's not, struggles aren't meant to be gone through alone. You know, you always have God. And it's always important to have good Christian people in your life that you can count on to help you through your struggles. And to be bold enough to ask for help. Asking for help is not a weakness. Remember that. Asking for help is a strength. It's an inner strength of being willing to know that you are in a weak place and you need help. It is a, it is a strong thing to ask for help. So when, when you guys ask for prayer like Mimi did here today, that is huge. Charles has asked for prayer here. We've all asked for prayer in, this video, in these live videos. And it is a powerful thing. And the other powerful thing is to know that you've got everybody else in your court praying for you and supporting you. So... I hope you guys find great knowledge, inspiration, encouragement to make positive changes in your life when you are watching these videos. I hope that you feel loved and a part of a community that is accepting and um, know that I won't tolerate anything less because the world is that way. We need a place where we can come and feel comfortable and that's what I want here and that's what our community is about. And um, I will be sharing more information, more links and everything on what I am doing here um, so that I can be a light to others. But if you know people that are dealing with chronic pain, chronic illness, um, chronic fatigue, um, autoimmune disorders, POTS, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, depression, anxiety, PTSD, have them reach out to me at survive at treyerwilderness.com because what they have and what they are living, the nightmare they are living right now can be changed. It can be changed. It can, it, it can be removed in the name of Jesus. It can be removed. And I want you to know something, you know, by what I am doing, I am not discrediting the power of Jesus. I am promoting the fact that God, God has given us a body that we have the ability to tap into and to change and that God will work with us and help us. Not everybody has results in three days and, and has complete removal of symptoms. There are many, but it, it's not always a common thing. But I truly believe that because my trust is in God and that he provided me with this divine implant of information and and that I learned these abilities that he is healing me like he is so I just want to encourage you guys to embrace life be resilient if you are struggling in life you're not alone but you have tools to be resilient I want to encourage something else I want to encourage you, I talk about Evernote all the time. I, <laughs> Evernote has 4,000 some notes in here. I use it for everything. And I use my journal a lot for this too. But I want to encourage you to create a note in Evernote or notes in Evernote that have Bible verses for different topics, for peace, for grace, for struggles. For um, 
money, for illness, whatever you need. What um when you when you're worn and tired, to gain strength from God, you know. And what's encouraging me to tell you this is because last week when I was, we were just so burned out. We were physically and mentally burned out. I mean, we have just been pushing for three years. And we've been pushing really hard right now for three months. And and it's, it's, it's okay. You're going to get weary. You're going to get tired. But we have the blessing of God and His Word to pull us back out of these places. And, you know, when you're in that place, sometimes you can't remember all the references. But if you have them pre-recorded and you can go to those references and read over those things that you know are going to help you, those references of God's word that's going to help you. It's it's huge. So I want to encourage that. If you're a pencil and paper person, create a notebook or create uh, three by five cards. Okay. Um, but get yourself an archive of references to God's word that you can quickly go to in a glance. Okay. And if you want to use Evernote, it's a free application. It syncs between laptop, desktop, smartphones, iJiggers, and um, it's very handy. I use it everywhere I go. So, and it was my brain for the longest time. So, you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash Evernote and sign up there. Now, Terry, I see, has something to say say here. I need prayers for a good appointment on Thursday. I have to go see the radiologist to find out what is going on with my PSA blood count. Please let it be negative again and not let the cancer come back. God bless you all. Terry, you can count on our prayers. You've had our daily prayers and you will be listed in today's, as well as Mimi, um, in the prayer request that I will be listing for this week. Um, so you will have many, many prayer warriors. And God is the healer. Um, the enemy is uh, the culprit of confusion. So we are just going to believe that the uh, PSA results that you had were a result of the enemy causing confusion and that the good Lord is healing you and you are fine. So, yes, you can count on our prayers. Does anybody else need prayers today? And anybody that's watching this on the replay or watching this on YouTube, please don't hesitate to comment or email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com or personal message because, um, and you don't have to share the details of your prayer request. Um, sometimes the details um, are, are uh, personal, very personal. You don't have to um, share that. You just need to let us know that you, you need prayer, okay? Um, Tammy, I saw, just posted hers too, and yes, you betcha. Traveling with my daughter and her husband and grandson this weekend to see my mom and my sister and her family. Prayers for safe travels would be appreciated. Absolutely. You got that, and they will be added to the request this week as well. And um, Kelly and uh, Courtney, her daughter, will be traveling... Um, over Easter weekend to um, Arizona to have her MRI and tumor rechecked again. And again, we are praying that there is no tumor and that God has removed that small piece of tumor that was left and that was inoperable. Hey, Paul. Glad to have you joining me. So if you guys have prayer requests, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. Um, if you know of people that are in need of prayer, um, Diana, if you watch this later, can you give us an update on Martin? Martin had a heart attack uh, several weeks back, and um, he ended up in a coma. He was starting to react to stimuli, so I have been saying all along that um, Martin is in a coma for healing, and that when he wakes up, he will be completely healed. Um, so, guys, I am going to end this now. Um, I will share the images below and some links later, but I appreciate you following me. I appreciate you being here and taking time out of your day, and we are going to continue on this journey this year every Wednesday um, with true devotion to making positive changes in our lives, and if you are new to watching these videos, um, in the... Um, archives of the videos here on Treyer Wilderness, you will find all of our Wednesday videos from the beginning of the year. You will also find a playlist on our YouTube channel um, by going to treyerwilderness.com slash YouTube. 
And uh, you can re-watch these at any given time. If any of these resonate with you, you can share them. If you share these live videos, um, it helps get people involved and aware that they, that they are happening every Wednesday. So keep that in mind also. And amen, Chad. Chad said, Jesus is Lord, and it is so true. Um, I'd like to ask you guys, too, to keep Chad in your prayers. Um, he's muscling a lot of things right now and getting his new business um, up and running. So um, that is Vandal Services in Utah, too. That is a large equipment, so I'm going to give you a little shout out there. Um, but just, we all need prayer. We all need prayer. We are all surfing oddities. We are all surfing things. Um, but those of you that have specifically asked for prayer, you can count on them. But I'm going to say a prayer for us right now and get you guys back to your day. And look at this. I do not have to sit in a special position. I don't have any pain. I don't have any struggles. I don't have any symptoms. God is good. God is good. And I hope that when this rain passes, I can do a live video from the top of the mountain somewhere. That's, that's the plan. So... Here we go. Papa, I just thank you for your love and your blessings and your gracious hand in our lives. I thank you for all these beautiful people that join me, for your love and your mercies and how you work in each of our lives, how you work through me and give me the words every Wednesday to share, to inf invite positive change in everybody's lives, to help them pull closer to you. And... Lord, I just ask that you be with Mimi, help her to f get answers on her stomach, and better yet, just heal her. Lord, put your healing hand on her and uh, give her peace with that. Be with Terry and just uh, allow the uh, doctors to shake their heads in um, confusion that he is healed and his results come back very positively and very encouraging for him. And just be with Terry and his wife. Continue to strengthen their bond and, uh, and their growth there. And uh, be with Chad and be with Tammy. Help her and her family as they travel. Just keep your uh, hedge of protection over them. And be with Kelly and Courtney as they travel also. And uh, just be with Mona and Ken and Pat Kenny and all of those on our prayer list, and just thank you more than anything. Thank you for what you've done in each of our lives and how you are working and how you are visible in everything that we do and, and how you show yourself in our lives daily. Just uh, help everybody to remember to focus on the gratitude in their lives and to write three to five things down a day that they are grateful for because those are that's you shining through. And I just... Thank you for what you're going to do in our lives and how you are going to use each and every one of us in your kingdom. And I just ask that you give everyone present and everyone watching the replay strength to go about their days. Give them a peace knowing that you are present. And uh, just may they bless others in their journey. And I just thank you for all that you're going to do, all that you do, and all that you have done. And I ask all of this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Okay, guys, I just thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy days to be present and to be here. Um, this is really crazy, but I am noticing that my eyes are getting better and that my glasses are making my vision fuzzy. So it's just amazing. God is able to do so much in our lives. Please don't discredit him. Please don't feel that he's not present. Um, and just gain encouragement from, from these moments that we have together. Because God, God is working in each of us if we are willing to keep our eyes open and focus on him rather than our struggles. So hang in there. We are praying for each of you. And just... Uh, I hope you were blessed today by what I shared, and I just encourage you to be resilient in life, not just in your struggles, but just in life in general. Be resilient and, and walk with integrity and be a light to others. Um, that is our job, and the more we are a light, the more we are reaching more people for Him. So, guys, have a fantastic day. Um, 
And I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Again, join us in our community at treyourwilderness.com slash community. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. God bless, guys.